What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Constant Chronicles, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and I hope you guys do enjoy your stay, and in today's video we are going to be discussing the ending of the Modern Warfare campaign, so if you still have not played it yet, which I don't know why you haven't, be sure and go and do so, because this is going to be a spoilers discussion, and uh, yeah, the, the ending is essentially setting up a Modern Warfare 2 rebooted, let's just call it that. Uh, because this game has pretty much been referred to as Modern Warfare Rebooted, so let's just call it that. Uh, yeah, so at the ending of the campaign, we get a discussion about Task Force 141, what their purpose is going to be. We also get a discussion about some return of favorite characters, like Soap and Ghost and also Gaz, who turned out to be Sergeant Kyle this whole time. So I guess what they're doing is kind of reimagining uh, Gaz... Uh, in this universe, he's going to be uh, Sergeant Kyle's character, and they said, and uh, Price is like, oh yeah, he never mentioned that's what everyone used to call him, so I don't know why. <laughs> um, actually, if you guys want to take a look at my reaction, this is my reaction to the whole sequence of events, so enjoy that. Is this what I think it is? Who's your crew? Sergeant Gary. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. Wait a minute, he was Gaz? John McTavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Yes! Why? It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> there it's he classified. is. Simon Riley. It's ghost. There's no picture. Never. Not the rest. That's great. That's actually great. That's neat to know. Oh, who else? Unless we go deep. Roach. What are you calling this task force? One for one. Yes! So yeah, that was a little bit of an overreaction, but nonetheless, I am enjoying the direction Infinity War is taking with this game, and I'm hoping that the next one, the Modern Warfare 2 rebooted, let's just call it, is going to be just as good as this one was. In fact, I have a pretty good feeling it will, because Infinity War is never disappointed with the campaign. Uh, and now that they have a lot of Naughty Dog writers, I don't think that's going to start anytime soon. But at the end of this game, we are getting a foreshadowing of the next game and a startup of Task Force 141, which in this game is kind of to combat all the loose ends that was left over after Barkov was killed, and now Zakaev wants his throne. Not, not Imran from the first game, which I can pretty much assume he's still alive based on the dialogue in this ending scene between Laswell and Price, but it's going to be his son, Victor, who was in the very first COD 4 Modern Warfare, but he died off, you know, in a, in a very, in, in that game, and one of the very ending missions, but he died off in that game. Um, so Victor apparently wants the throne, so maybe in this universe he's more of a military man, or he wants the throne for some, some reason. Maybe his dad uh, is still an arms dealer, and he's supplying all the weapons and everything, because... As Price said, oh yeah, I almost buried him in Pripyat with McMillan, but then Lazlo says, oh no, that was the dad, this is the son that wants it. So, it can be assumed that maybe Imran is still kind of like in power, or maybe he's just like behind the scenes in, in this uh, new trilogy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that does lead me to believe that the All Gilead Up mission, that mission still happened in this universe. It just kind of skewed off in a different set of events. But as uh, you guys can see in the scene of, uh, on the, currently on the screen, it looks like Al-Assad is, is alive in this universe. He's taken over Al-Qatala, the terrorist organization that was one of the main antagonists in this, in this game. And he is working, we can assume, like he was working in the first, in the very first Modern Warfare with Zakayev to Kayan try and take power. But it looks like in this game, he's invading Russia. So that's very interesting. We'll see, we'll see exactly what happens. Uh, it looks like they don't know who Al-Assad is. Uh, so we'll see exactly what happens with that. But it look, and it's in my assumption is that Task Force 141 is being called in. What we can assume is 141 is being called in to help combat these uh, these remnants of Alcatala and Barkov's uh, throne, essentially. Uh, the the campaign does continue in Spec Ops. That's something they do say at the end of this uh, at the end of the game. But I haven't played every cutscene, uh, or just every mission in general in Spec Ops to be able to say like, oh yeah, there's like a secret ending or something like that yet. If there is and I haven't seen it yet, I apologize, but I just haven't got to it. Nonetheless, like I said, I think they are setting up a Modern Warfare 2, and this time, unlike with Call of Duty Ghost setting up a cliffhanger ending, we're actually going to get this one. I really hope we do, and I think that it will, uh, it'll come out pretty well. 
But anyways, guys, that is going. That is my take on the story for this game, my opinions on it, and what I think is foreshadowing and what's going to be coming up in the future. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in a later video. I'm going to have more Modern Warfare gameplay up. The thing is right now with the multiplayer, it's very strenuous to try and get a, uh, try and get a gameplay just because of how campy everything is. Nothing seems exciting. There's going to be a major update at the end of November, or sometime in November, they said, that's going to kind of make things, you know, a little bit better. So I might end up waiting for that, but in the time being, I'll try and post as much as I can. Uh, a little bit more than once a week, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Until then, guys, take it easy. Bye.